everyone, happy Halloween. I'm Dr. Joanne Holly. This is Lexi. This is Jalissa. We're from the Bugs and Bugs Freshman Research Initiative Lab. Today we're going to talk about some creepy crawlies because we study insects uh, and the bacteria associated with them. So hopefully by the end of this you won't be so scared even though it's Halloween. One particularly cool insect is the Madagascar hissing cockroach. These aren't the cockroaches you'll find in your home. Like their name indicates, Madagascar hissing cockroaches are capable of producing loud hissing sounds when they are frightened as a defense mechanism. In order to learn how these cockroaches produce their hissing sound, let's take a look at this model. Insects and spiders don't have lungs like you and I do. Instead, they have a long air tube that extends down their body called the trachea, with tubes that connect to the outside of the body called spiracles. When Madagascar hissing cockroaches are frightened, they are able to quickly push air through the system, which produces the loud hissing noises. People often keep these cockroaches as pets, and here at UT, our insect collection keeps these cockroaches to bring to outreach events. Next, we'll be talking about tarantulas. You may be familiar with tarantulas since they are often a pet and can be found running around certain parts of Texas. Because they are so large compared to other spiders, people often find them frightening. Compared to us though, tarantulas are pretty small, so they are probably afraid of us too. Just like hissing cockroaches have defense mechanisms, tarantulas have them too. You may have noticed that tarantulas are really fuzzy. This fuzz is actually called urticating hairs. These hairs can be irritating to the skin, which discourages predators from attacking them. But even tarantulas have predators. Tarantula hawks are large spider wasps that are capable of taking down tarantulas. Female tarantula hawks will hunt for a tarantula. After she finds one, she will sting the tarantula and her venom will paralyze it. She will then drag it back to her nest and lay her eggs inside of the living tarantula's body. The eggs will hatch, and the babies will use the tarantula as a food source. This is pretty clever, since insects don't have refrigerators, and if she just killed the tarantula at first, it would rot before her babies even hatched. Thanks for joining us. We hope you learned something about creepy crawlies, and hopefully you're not so scared anymore. Uh, and we all hope you all have a happy Halloween. Bye-bye.